Guys, welcome to Crazy Monday. A standing ovation for a Ukrainian veteran of the Second World War. Who fought the Ukrainian independence against the Russians and continues to support the troops today, even at his age of 98. He's a Ukrainian hero, a Canadian hero, and we thank him for all his service. What a crazy day. As a Nazi guy went into Parliament, and this on Friday, and we're finding out now that he was part of a group of volunteers in the Second World War who fought against actually uh, Quebec Canadians and uh, Russian forces on the on the German side. Now new details have emerged about that war service MPs applauded. Hunka served in the 1st Galician Division, a voluntary unit commanded by the Nazis. You can't, you, you really, really, you, you could really try, but you, you really, really can't make this up. If this isn't something you could just make up, <laughs> this is, has to be something that's happened while the Liberals are in power. Some people aren't actually blaming the Liberals for this, they're just blaming the, the Speaker, but... You know what I mean? The book stops with the boss. You know, the boss is the boss, and Trudeau's the boss, isn't he? So I was looking at the Times of Israel, and I got some uh, some clips here, some some paragraphs that uh, I just like to share, and a few few video clips. And let's just uh, get this out in the open on this channel as well, because it seems that everybody's talking about it. Your I did a. A quick um, poll to see who you thought should get fired and it's pointing towards almost every well y most of the votes are towards uh, Singh and Trudeau but a lot of people in the comments because I, I didn't put this one in just think everybody should be fired <laughs> just just fire everyone okay the Speaker of Canada's House of Commons apologised, so he did apologise yesterday for recognising a man who fought in a Nazi military unit in World War II. Just after Ukrainian President Zelensky delivered an address in the House of Commons on Friday, Canadian lawmakers gave a 98-year-old Hunka a standing ovation when Speaker Anthony Rotter drew attention to him. Rotter introduced Hunka as a Canadian and Ukrainian war hero who fought for the 1st Ukrainian di Division. Now, saying that he's a war hero, this is a German war hero. He fought on the German side against the Russians. It's, his, just his, it's a history lesson. Remember history when we used to teach it in Canada until somebody uh, called Trudeau tried to ban history. Yeah, well, it's just it's just basic history. Uh, so it goes on to say the 1st Ukrainian Division was a voluntary unit, so he didn't even get paid to do this, commanded by the Nazis and was also known as a Waffen SS Galicia Division, or the SS, 14th Waffen Division. It was responsible for mass murder and crimes against humanity during the Holocaust, according to Canada's Friends of Simon Wesler Centre. So according to the Times of Israel, this guy was part of the war, war crimes in, uh, in, the, in the camps during the Holocaust. Canadian lawmakers cheered Zelensky, who raised his fist in acknowledgement as Hunker saluted from the gallery during two separate standing ovations. Rotter called him a Ukrainian hero, Canadian hero, and thanked him for his service. What? What I, d I have to stop there for a minute and just take a breath because this it it's no this obviously it's extremely upsetting that this happened. Uh, the speaker speaker has uh, acknowledged his mistake uh, and has apologized. Uh, but this is something that is deeply embarrassing to the Parliament of Canada and by extension to all Canadians. Mm -hmm. I think particularly of Jewish MPs and all members of the Jewish community across the country who are uh, celebrating Yom, or commemorating Yom Kippur today. Uh, I think it's going to be really important that all of us 
push back against Russian propaganda, Russian disinformation, and continue our steadfast and unequivocal support for Ukraine, uh, as uh, we did last week with announcing uh, further measures to stand with Ukraine in uh, Russia's illegal war against it. Nobody did the homework. Nobody checked. Nobody checked who was going in and out of Parliament on this day. No one. Nobody was vetted. I, can, I really find it difficult to believe that. I really do. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's office said that in a statement that Rota had apologised and accepted full responsibility for issuing the invitation to Hunker and for the recognition in Parliament. This was the right thing to do, Trudeau's statement said. No advance notice was provided to the Prime Minister's office nor the Ukrainian delegation about the invitation or the recognition of a known Nazi criminal coming into the parliament. I recognize an individual in the gallery. I have subsequently become aware of more information which causes me to regret my decision to do so, he says in a statement. I accept full responsibility for my actions. Nobody knew that a criminal from the war was going to come in and stand in Parliament while an actual guy who's fighting a war was in there who could be a, should we say, how, how can I say, without upsetting YouTube, there could be a hit on him, put it that way. That did not stop the leader of the opposition, Pierre Polyev, from slamming an error in judgment. Polyev said, personal protocol office is responsible. Trudeau's personal protocol office is responsible for arranging and vetting all guests and programming for state visits of this kind. Exactly. Well said. That's exactly what everybody in the in the in the real world are trying to to, to say and and wondering why. The Conservative leader posted on X, calling on the Prime Minister to personally apologise. He should. He should have personally apologised. Members of Parliament from all parties rose to applaud Hunker. A spokesman for the opposition Conservative Party said the party was not aware of his history at this time. They probably weren't even aware that it was in there. You know what I mean? And then, oh, rise to applaud this guy who's a Ukrainian. So they're obviously going to, oh yeah, they're going to rise and, and applaud him. But they didn't know who he was or why he was in there or or even where, maybe where he was until he waved his arm and did a salute or whatever he did in there. Anyway, let's see what goes on from here. I, I keep saying that Canadian politics can't get any worse, but it can. <laughs> I... I just look forward to waking up tomorrow and see what else has gone wrong in the country. Till next time. 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 Till next time.